before them, and they were driven forth from Mithri with great slaughter, and hunted over the mountains of Shadow into the great plain of Ard Gan, that lay northward of Dothania. There the armies of Morgoth that had passed south into the Vale of Syria and beleaguered Girnan in the havens of the Phalas, came up to their aid and were caught in their ruin. For Keligor, Theodore's son, having news of them, waylaid them with a part of the elven host, and coming down upon them out of the hills near Eitral Syria, drove them into the fen of Seren. Evil indeed for the tidings that came at last to Angband, hold up with dismay. Ten days that battle lasted, and from it returned of all the host that he had prepared for the conquest of Valeria, no more than a handful of leaves. Yet cause he had for great joy, though it was hidden from him for a while. For Feanor, in his wrath against the enemy, would not halt, but pressed on behind the remnant But it had a power within it, so that it rested lightly on its wearer, as a strand of flax. Whatsoever neck it clasped, it sat always with grace and loveliness. There in Nargothrond, Finrod made his home with many of his people, and he was named in the tongue of the dwarves, Felagan, the doer of Cadiz. And that name he bore thereafter until his end. Finrod Felagan was not the first to dwell in Cadiz beside the river Nanon. The realm of Finrod was the greatest by far, though he was the youngest of the great lords of the Nordor, in Golfin, Fingon, Maedros, and Finrod Felagan. But Fingolfin was held overlord of all the Nordor, and Fingon up. I can tell you. 